What's going on YouTube? This is Ed over here at Echo 24 Tactical. So today I want to bring to your attention the Staccato CS. So I have two other firearms here in front of me, the Springfield Hellcat and the CZ P10C. We're going to use this as a comparison. This is not a full review. This is just a brief overview of my initial thoughts and for you guys to get an idea on size. That's all this is about. And then later on, I will bring a full in-depth review of this firearm. Um, so let's get into this. All right, guys, so down here in front of me, we have the Staccato CS, the Springfield Hellcat, and the CZ P10C. They have all been safety checked. They're all empty. They all have magazines inserted for this review. If you don't trust me, I don't care. Nothing's gonna hurt you over the camera. All right, so first things first, initial impressions of the CS. I honestly really like the way it fits my hand. I don't feel like it's very uncomfortable. I know there's been conversations about this piece right here hitting in the bottom of your hand. Realistically, I don't have any types of concerns about it right now, even when I'm sque squeezing the hell out of it. I don't have any major concerns about it. I see how it could maybe become an annoyance, um, and I know uh, QVO Tactical is making a piece that would extend down here and flush fit with the magazine. I can see how that could be beneficial. As of right now, without even a shot this pistol, I feel like it'll work just fine the way it is. Um, but as I dig further into this and I start getting more time behind this gun, I will have more information for you. And the neighbor has to start a lawnmower, of course. So over here, the P10C, you can see while I'm holding it, I do get a nice full grip on it. But because this one has a higher bore axis, even though the overall height is nearly identical uh, outside of like 0.1 or 2 of an inch, this higher bore axis here makes this grip radius here shorter. I've already gotten questions from the neighbors that I'll need to answer and stuff like that. Uh, they do want to put hands on it. They do want to feel it. The Springfield Hellcat with the magazine, with the extended magazine inserted, same thing. I get a nice full size grip, but because the bore axis isn't as large, it does come up a whole lot higher. All right, so what I'm gonna do for you, first things first, is I'm gonna put the CS down here, and we're gonna bring the Hellcat with the extended magazine in here, and then you can kind of get an idea. Let me bring top of the gun to the top of the gun. So I guess that would be the best overall that I could do for you right here. So realistically, okay, let's see if we can stand this up. So realistically, the CS's grip in the front is larger and in the back, it's close, um, but it's maybe like a quarter inch shorter. And then the overall length of the gun is shorter as well. I know this gun is not a comparison to this gun, but I wanted to give everybody an idea who, uh, who uh, already has the Springfield Hellcat, what they, they could expect or what they could look for when thinking about purchasing the CS. Same thing if I put the CS on top here. So you can see like the Staccato still has a massive grip, even though it is slimmed down quite a bit. I'm not gonna bore you guys with specs. You can find them later on. All right, the real competitor to this would be the C10, uh, C10, the P10C. So the P10C here, I'll lay on the bottom because it is slightly larger. So just looking at it top end this way, you can see that the P10C is slightly longer in the front, but in the back doesn't have this exaggerated beaver tail. But the overall length in the front, almost identical with the magazine inserted. And then let me flip it around here. Same thing 
back of the gun to back of the gun just so you can see the grip here i mean so the the back strap to back strap is nearly the same length so if we're looking at these on a tabletop or on the bed of my truck see how they're nearly identical in height but you can see how because of the lower bore axis here I can seat my hand a whole lot higher than I can with the CS looking at it from the bottom here you can see how the CS is dramatically thicker than the P10C and the Springfield Hellcat just to kind of give you an idea yes it is a thicker gun it's more stout i guess we can have that conversation but it's still a concealable handgun it probably falls right in line with that glock 19 size i'm not a glock guy like i've said in the past that's why i have the cz p10c out here because it does fit in glock 19 holsters and it's a huge competitor of that firearm. All right, get you an up close and personal with the gun here. Very smooth slide, I'm very impressed with it. Nice grippy texture. Been hearing people say like it's super aggressive. Mm, I don't know about that. I personally feel, you know what, I don't. I was gonna say, I think the Hellcat's grippier, but I take that back. Uh, the Staccato is definitely grippier, but it almost feels like a uh, twin of that texture, just a little bit more aggressive. Trigger's amazing. There's your take up. There's your brake. There's your reset, there's your brake. There's your reset, there's your brake. It says on the website about four pounds. I think it's just under that. If that's four pounds, it's on four pounds. If not, I believe it's a little less than that. I put on the Streamlight TR7 sub. I got a QVO inside the waistband holster coming for this firearm. This firearm, I have every intention to make my everyday carry henceforward. So I got to put in a lot of work with this. If you want to see the safeties, very tactile, very easy to manipulate on both sides. Grip safety. I'm actually very impressed with it. It feels really nice in the hand. I do have an optics plate I'll install tonight along with a Holosun 507C. I don't remember if the one I currently have is a green dot or a red dot, but I'll keep you guys in a loop on what that turns out to be. And then I also have a gas pedal that's currently in the mail that will connect to this Streamlight TLR7 sub light. And then all of that will be designed to fit in the QVO inside the waistband holster. But overall, guys, you know, if you're thinking about getting something like this, it has actually exceeded my ex expectations on what I believe this was. And then it also has the blacked out rear sight with the green fiber optic sight. With the tall sights on it, you can pick it up very well. I'm very impressed with that. Overall, I just think it's an awesome package. If this is something you're considering, I highly recommend you look into that. If you want to wait for the full review, I will have one where I've put hundreds, if not thousands of rounds through this firearm with a full review to follow. 
All right, guys, I appreciate you taking the time and just watching that couple minute video clip of just a quick comparison between the two of them. Um, I'm glad you got to bear with me and kind of see how those two options work. I know the Springfield Hellcat is a very popular pistol with uh, many people I know and or subscribers that I have. And I know the C CZ P10C is another strong following with friends or subscribers that I have. So I figured that would give you a really good fundamental idea of the size of this Staccato CS. And like I said, this is just initial thoughts, uh, initial idea on size, and sometime in the near future, within the next several weeks, I'll have a full review for you guys. There may be uh, an additional video in between this of just some initial shots at an indoor range down the road or something just to put freedom seas down range because that's just what i do and plus i do want to play with it in the meantime go ahead and subscribe hit that like button the bell notification if you feel you need to uh to be honest with you guys i have never hit a bell notification in my entire life i subscribe to quite a few people but i'll check it on my own terms but those of you who do hit the bell notification and do enjoy what i'm putting out i do appreciate you all right guys take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Uh -huh.